Vlogging is dead. <sighs> Long live vlogging. Hello, I'm Carl Kohlglazer and I like to make videos about media and everything that goes into making media. And I'm doing something here that I haven't done for a long time and I haven't really given myself permission to do in a long time, which is basically just sit in front of a camera without a plan and just talk about things. There was an era on YouTube, maybe about 2012 to 2013, where this type of format was much more common. I think things have changed a lot since then. And there's a few reasons for that. A, if we're being real, a lot of the early format of YouTube was basically built around the novelty of the format. You could upload your own videos and you could see videos uploaded by other people. It was this sort of DIY amateur aesthetic that we hadn't really seen before. Thus, I and a lot of other people associate this time period with a lot of experimentation and trying to push the format and, and see where things go. B, there were a lot fewer people at that time doing this sort of thing, so I think it was a little bit easier to gain a new audience and take off from there. Nowadays, the advice from even YouTube itself is your channel needs to have some sort of theme or purpose and a dedicated target audience, and you wanna keep your content consistent to that which I think is just a little bit limiting. Certainly it's a good business idea, but to be honest, it's not nearly as fun. C, there are three main ways that channels are able to take off. One, uh, luck. I mean, they get popular on some other website or like Reddit links to it or goes viral on Twitter. I don't know, it happens sometimes. But what's far more common is either you pull in people via the recommendation, which means you have to follow whatever the YouTube algorithm says at the time makes a good video, or you pull in people through search. Now, if you're following search engine optimization principles, that's actually very limiting because you basically are creating videos to shoehorn into different search terms that people might be searching. So a kind of the free form pointless vlogging that we saw on YouTube in the early 2010s, yeah, that's not particularly good for SEO. And speaking of algorithms, the YouTube algorithm has changed a lot in terms of what type of video it pushes towards people. All right, so where am I going with this? Well, I'm personally kind of struggling to find a balance with my own personal approach to YouTube and just the way the platform and norms have been shifting over the years. My last video talked about the difference between creating extensive long-term projects versus much shorter, quick turnaround projects and the different modes of creativity that are required for each. Between graduating from college and then applying for graduate school, I'm a little bit burnt out on those long-term projects. I'm kind of more interested at the moment in just focusing on the short-term, working on expanding my skills and then maybe documenting some of that and pushing out projects that might be helpful to other people. So to that end, my thought process is like, well, vlogging is fun. I really enjoyed when this was sort of a vlogging channel with a specific purpose. At uh, the time that was toward uh, filmmaking, documentaries, indie vlogging, that kind of thing. And so my personal thought process is, while I'm not particularly interested in the approach it would take to treat YouTube as a business, doing that SEO style content, producing longer form content that really placates the YouTube algorithm. Not to say I won't make longer videos in the future, it's just not what I'm interested in right now. I am interested in using YouTube as a form of self-expression. While I by no means think I'm gonna bring back that early YouTube vlogging spirit, as discussed earlier in the video, that really existed because of a certain set of conditions that just don't exist anymore. I am kind of trying to embrace a little bit of that on this channel and in my personal work in order to use it as a form of personal expression and have fun with it. So thanks for watching. I'm having a ton of fun making this video. I'm trying out new lighting techniques, uh, using two cameras. So I'm having to do like color matching kind of stuff, which is a little bit challenging, but that's what makes things interesting. And if you're interested in the same kind of things that I am, you know, please subscribe. I don't know if that means anything on YouTube anymore. Most people will tell you to click the bell, but my YouTube notifications have been broken for at least three years. So who knows? But you know, I'm having fun. Hopefully you did too watching this video. Thanks for watching.